morning guys, it's uh, about 6 in the morning here and Werner and I are out driving around the safari. The uh, reason why we get up so early is because you see a lot of wildlife, they're more active, during the day it gets really warm, plus you get to see some incredible sunrise. But the other thing that's so unique, I'm going to give it over to Werner to show you, the rhinos haven't even woken up. Check this out guys, the rhino is still sleeping in the morning. <laughs> I don't know if you can see, but it's a mum sleeping with her baby behind her. And we don't want to get too close. Okay. Good. This is a party. We've got to work this one out. I'll get back to you guys. <laughs> Morning guys, so uh, we're out here on the safari, it's pretty early because we wanted to get some good footage. We're trying to get to this watering hole and I got a bit of a problem in the middle of the road here, so check it out. We've got a female white rhino and this is a mother with her baby still having a bit of a sleep behind. So basically guys, we've got an obstacle in the road here, so we are trying to take a bit of a detour to get around all of this because mummy here is protecting baby as she should and it is kind of a beautiful sight that we can even get this close he's just doing his thing good morning hello uh, he's just he's trying to show that he is boss around here Morning guys, so uh, I'm up here at the lodge and literally we just came down for breakfast but we have got really close to some Nyala so check this out. Right there is a young male, normally when they're fully grown their coat is much darker. Now we got some females over here, I'm trying to be as quiet and as careful as I can because I don't want to give them a fright. If any of you guys have read the book, there's a particular scene where an Anyala comes out the thicket and was injured and we looked after her for a while. Well, this here is an Anyala. Hi guys, so we've seen a lot of wildlife, but sometimes you don't actually get to see any. You actually have to go and find them. And there's many different ways you can do that. One is um, basically spore, and that's kind of a fancy way of saying poo, um, or shit, quite frankly. But um, the other thing that you tend to do, and something which is really important, is looking at footprints. And every single animal has its own identity in terms of what its footprint is. So I've got a challenge for all of you. One of them is here. Now, there's a few of them leading all the way up here. And my thing for you guys is, what footprint is that? Leave your comments down below and uh, look forward to seeing who's right. Hi guys, so we're on the outside of the safari here. Uh, we got a call from the reservations that they saw a snake. And the snake is here, but unfortunately it's dead. Um, this is a night adder, which is on the side of the road. It's obviously been run over. And personally for me, it's really sad to see that. I was bitten twice when I was seven years old. One was by an adder of some sort, but um, yeah, I would never want any evil upon any species, especially this. And it's so sad to see that something as beautiful as that has to die. But anyway, shame. And we've come to another obstacle. <laughs> 
This time it is buffalo in the road and there's a whole heap of them around us which is really lovely and giraffe in the background. We've got a mother in the middle here protecting her little one and as beautiful as it is we've been sitting here a bit of time now and let's see what will happen. Big male here, watch out for him. Uh, she's not even budging. Great, now there's two. Great, so basically now the entire group is blocking the road. And that's a big obstacle. So I've just come back into my villa and I thought I'd share something with you guys because I have a major fear. Snakes. I got bitten twice when I was seven years old, so I'm allowed to have it. So I thought seeing as I'm back in the room, I've got to sweep it. We're going CIA. First off, we better go undercover. Under the bed. Under the curtain. All clear there. In the cupboard. In the bathtub. In the toilet. All clear. So I basically turned the place upside down and we're all clear. If they come, I'm ready. <laughs> 